My multi-grain and bean salad is starting to come together. I've cut one half of a red pepper and I've diced it small. And now I'm taking a red onion and you could use some scallions and we're gonna add that to the bowl. Put that aside. I'm going to do a trick with this couscous that I learned at a cooking job I had. I'm going to toast it and it makes the flavor beautiful. So place it on a cookie sheet. We're using one cup. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now I'm going to cook the quinoa. So you're going to add one cup of that to a saucepan along with two cups of cold water. You wanna turn this on high and bring your quinoa to a boil. Once it's to a boil, you're going to end up putting a lid on it and turning it down. My oven is ready and I'm putting in my couscous and I'm going to toast this for about 10 minutes or till it's light golden brown. So we're back to the quinoa. Put it on low and put the lid on it and cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes. So here's the toasted couscous and it smells so good. It's just golden brown on certain areas, so don't worry about that. You're going to put it into a bowl and then we're going to fill it with cold water. It's really hot right now and you're just gonna fill it to about one inch above the level of the couscous and it will slowly absorb all of that water as it sits. I'm mincing some flat leaf parsley. You can make this any way you want. You could use fresh basil or any other herbs. The quinoa is finished. I'm going to fluff it up with a fork and now I'm just gonna let it cool down. It's perfect. Finely mince whatever herb it is you're going to use and then you're gonna place it right in the bowl with all the other ingredients. So my couscous sucked up all that water and now you wanna take a fork and you wanna fluff it up. I'm just letting this cool for a little bit and then I'm going to add it to the bowl. Here I have some black beans and you could use chickpeas or anything you want. I'm rinsing them really well to get all that sludge off. Now you can add them to the bowl with the other ingredients. See how easy this is. And I have the edamame and I have bought this frozen and defrosted it and I'm putting it right into the salad, about one cup. You'll want to make your vinaigrette in a separate bowl and I'm using extra virgin olive oil and red wine vinegar. I add my vinegar first and then I drizzle in my olive oil. That's the way you should do a salad dressing. So just a little bit at a time and it emulsifies a little bit. I'm going to add some kosher salt and also some ground black pepper to the vinaigrette. You could also add some dry herbs if you want. I added about a teaspoon of cumin powder, but you could even use a curry powder or some dried Italian herbs, whatever you want. So mix that up well, and I'm going to drizzle this into the salad now before I add my grains. Stir that up really well. So I'm putting this into a larger bowl because it's really gonna be a large salad. And get that ready, and now I'm going to take my couscous and add it to all the vegetables and the beans and the grains. Mix that really well. Here comes the quinoa, and it's actually still a little bit warm, and that's okay to do that. Carefully toss everything together, and then you want to take a taste, and I felt it needed a little bit more of the olive oil and the vinegar and the salt and the pepper, but it was really good. So I'm just drizzling in about another maybe tablespoon and a half of olive oil and maybe a tablespoon of vinegar and some extra salt and pepper. That's all up to you and your taste buds. Here it is. This salad's not only so healthy for you, but the flavors are just wonderful. You're gonna love it. You can eat this salad all week and it tastes great. You can cut this recipe in half if there's less people home. It travels really well, so bring it to lunch at the office or on a picnic or to a barbecue. And thanks for watching.